When you're working on your monday.com boards, the groups are pretty static. You can't change them. Obviously, you could change the name, but let's say instead of grouping things by, let's say, completed or not completed tasks, you want to change the grouping to be by date or by a different status column. Let me show you this cool trick. So on a specific board, you can change the groups that are on your board so you can view your information in a different way. Let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner. My goal is to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. So let's jump in to today's tutorial. As you can see in this board, I have three different groups, open tasks, complete a task for August and complete a task in July. So my information is sorted based on whatever open tasks I have, obviously, and then the completed tasks. Now, what happens if, let's say we want to view the tasks in a totally different way, but we still want to be on this board. So Monday came out with a really cool new feature called Group By and does exactly like this. Let me show you what it does. So here I have my main table. Now, if I click on Group By, I can choose which um, which column I want to use to actually group my information. So let's say I want to group it by different clients. Now I only have, here's one client and here's a second client. So now you can see that all of my information is grouped by clients. Let's try another one. Let's say I want to group by date, by due date. So I can have all my tasks that are due tomorrow, this week, last month, past dates. So essentially I'm working on the same board with the same groups but then I can just change the grouping in a really easy way to view the information in a totally different way that may be relevant for me. It may not be relevant to someone else on my team, but I may want to view the information in that way. So without changing the structure of the board for everyone, I can just click on this group by option and choose literally any column and group by that information. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like it below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. That's it. Until next time.